The over 500 residents started their demonstration at the Tumu Community Center through the principal streets of the Tumu Township. They later congregated at the forecourt of the Sasale East Municipal Assembly, where they presented a petition to the district chief executive of the area, Karim Nanua. Osman Canton is the leader of the aggrieved residents. The company has been issued with an EPA permit to start the factory in Tumu, and they are now telling us that it was based on false information. We can also confirm that this company is currently harvesting and processing rosewood and other three species at the same factory in a blatant disregard of the recent ban on all rules, rosewood related activities by the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources. And yet the Forestry Commission is looking on and in fact facilitating the siting of the factory close to our own forest reserve. Based on the above, we the concerned citizens hereby express our disappointment and indeed our revulsion at the circumstances which have led to the successful installation and operation of this factory in the municipality. That said, it is very clear to us and any well-meaning citizen of the land that this company which is owned by a notorious wood logger, Bachapo, and his Chinese ally, Lee Song Ku, who are part who are part of who are part of a group of Chinese merchants who have recently funded and facilitated the reckless and destructive harvesting of rare food and other three species on our land. It is surprising. It is surprising that our own municipal assembly funded or is accepting this kind of illegality in our community. As cunning as they have always been, they have employed deceitful tactics in an attempt to commit the community to endorse their activities through this meaningless MOU. Yes. Yes. Mr. Canton warned that their members will take further actions if their concerns are not addressed after one week. The processing factory, wood processing factory, be immediately shut down and all equipment evacuated from the location within one week. One week. One week. That 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 the assembly immediately revoked the building permit it has granted the company yes. because the activities of the company are not in our interest yes. and indeed a threat to our livelihood. Three, that the environmental protection agency immediately revoked the permit it granted the company which they now say was given based on false information presented to them by the company. Number four, that the security agencies, especially the Ghana Police Service, ensure that the company shuts down and evacuate peacefully within one week. Number five, and la lastly, that failure to take action on the above demands within one week the community will advise itself accordingly to defend itself and the rest of the life to life. The president of the Sasale East Forum, Roger Canton, cautioned the assembly not to take for granted the peaceful nature of the residents, as any further delay in shutting down the company will disturb the peace of the area. And if this machine continues, I will and do, will do everything to stop it. We will not take part of that. And we are... I also want to, I also want to sound a caution. Sasalis are the most peaceful people in this country. Everybody knows. But I must also caution that we are not cowards. So our peaceful nature should not let people think that they can harass anybody here. If we get mad, nothing. Even I was saying on Radio Ghana, even you can bring Ghana's garrison here. We don't care about that. We will defend our land to the peril of our land. We don't care about those. Things. So we want to tell everybody that please, we don't want any engagement with anybody. Let us get our land. Meanwhile, checks by City News at the Sasale East Municipal Office of the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, indicate that Bachopon Lee Swang Kung was granted permit to set up in the town despite the ban on the harvest and exploitation of rosewood. 
when City News visited the company. These processed woods were packed, but the workers were not available for comments. The Sosale East Municipal Chief Executive, Karim Nanyua, promised to ensure that the concerns of the residents are addressed after receiving the petition. Our lives depends on our environment. So any attempt to destroy this environment means that it's an attempt to destroy our lives. And then we cannot all sit down and then watch for people to toy with our lives. But before I actually accept taking this uh, petition, there are some impressions in the media that I want to state it clearly here. That as far as Sister East Municipal Assembly is concerned, we've not signed any memorandum of understanding with Bishopun and any company to set up a factory. Again, we've not also issued any permit, like operational permit to Bishopun to set up any factory. So I'm happy you are here and I've listened to your concerns. And I want to assure you, with a tip off, Assembly has taken a number of decisions. One, we've stopped him temporarily. We've also asked him to present his documentation of the organization. Uh, I am also going to constitute a committee of uh, capable minds to go into that and then we will look at it. But the call of residents of the Sasale East Municipality here in the Upper West region is that simple. It is that they are not interested in having this company operate here in the municipality. Reporting for City News, my name is Latif Mahama Tumu.